Hi guys, welcome back to Fragments of a Simple Life. For every video I make a super simple. Today I am coming back to you with another magazine video. We have Country Living's Halloween Spectacular. This is a brand new magazine for me. I don't know how long it's been out, but it is from this year. We have some jack-o'-lantern masterpieces, haunted house magic, indoor and out, some cute and creepy costumes, 150 spooky ideas inside, plus marshmallow ghost brownies and other sweet treats. I'm off of sweet treats right now, which is so difficult, but I'm trying to get healthier. So this is going to be torture, but for you guys, I'll do it. Don't know if I'll get through this whole magazine. It's actually a decent size, but I say that every time and then I just talk and talk and talk. So, so uh, we'll see how I do this time. All right. Haven't even opened it yet. I always wait for you guys. You can tell I haven't opened it yet because it won't stay down. It says Country Living Halloween Spectacular. They always do a table of contents, but I like to go past the table of contents as quickly as possible. I feel like it gives away too much. Okay, chapter one, haunted house. Spooky season is upon us. Transform your home with devilish displays, indoor and out. I like how they're doing this. I like the chapter idea. That's really cute. Okay, let's read about this because this is a monstrosity of coolness, I would say. It says otherworldly archway. Anchor two tall branches on both sides of the walkway. Um, the more twiggy the limbs, the better. Because then it looks more creepy. And it probably helps it stretch out the, the fake webbing. Bend tops to meet and secure with garden twine. Cover with faux spider webs to bend and shape branches. Add a plastic skeleton or two to finish the look. That's pretty cool. I love all the pumpkins too. They have like pumpkins and they have like lanterns. It might be hard to see on camera. And then they have floating hats up there. We've seen the floating hats before. It's a really cool idea. All right. This says lawn games. Fun ways to take curb appeal to the dark side. This just looks like cones, doesn't it? Okay, it says every which way. Cast a spell with these three witchy ideas. Witch parking, all others will be towed. Haha, ha. it's towed like T-O-A-D, like the animal. Spray paint plastic traffic cones black. Then add buckles cut from self-adhesive glitter sticker paper and line the walkways. That is so cute and simple. Like, if you have a kid that's into, like, creepy stuff and they want a Halloween or, like, witch-themed birthday party, even if they're not born in October, like, what a cute idea would that be? Okay, we have some witch's legs, like, in a tree. It says, hovering above, use floral wire to make, oh no, oh yeah, to make witch's feet dangle from trees. The feet shown here are purchased online. But you can DIY them with pool noodles, striped tights, and dress-up shoes. That's funny. And then hat trick. Order costume hats in bulk online and suspend them from the porch ceiling with fishing line. It's really cool. I love this idea. It's so simple. Ooh, creepy. That's creepy. Thick skulls. What is it? It says, suspend a gaggle of these haunted heads from your porch or along a walkway. Use pumpkin carving tools to make a gaping mouth, nose, and teeth in an upside down butternut squash. That's what I thought that was. And then you hang them with a Dremel tool and you create a small hole in each side of the squash's head. And you put a thread through the, through the skull. Those are really creepy. I mean, I don't have time or patience for this. I really don't. Plus, this is one of those things where, like, you could probably do it, like, the day of, maybe, because it'll start dying. This is funny. 
They made it look like a skeleton is coming up out of the dirt. That's brilliant. Oh, that's cute, wise guys. Fold a burlap sack in half so it doubles over and then stuff with pillow. Then you do a stitch. And then it gives you instructions for the beaks and for the wings. Feel free to uh, take a screenshot if you want to try to make it. Enter if you dare. This is cute. Wrap black ribbon around an entire wreath form and secure the ends with hot glue. Make three inch circles from old book pages. Oh wow. By hand cutting or using a circle punch, wrap each paper circle around a pencil eraser and dot glue on the bottom with hot glue and then press it into the wreath form. And then you add the bats. That's very cool. But man, they have so many cool wreaths. By the time you like buy the form, buy the ribbon, buy some old books that you're willing to rip apart. It's like, all right, if you're in the whole $20 at that point, then you might as well have just purchased a leaf or I mean a wreath on your own. And then these right here, you can take any wreath, any wreath that you have, go to Dollar Tree or I don't know, Hobby Lobby or even Walmart and you can find clippies. They're like, they're actual clippies for wreaths and add them to any existing wreath that you already have. And then when the holiday is over, take the clippies out and, and you're done. You don't have to do all that. It does look nice though. This one's pretty too. That's a lot of work. You need to cut 150 six inch long strips of two inch wide black um, gross grain ribbon. Yikes. I like the witch in the middle though. It's funny, like the wreath is like not catching my eye. It's the witch. I like this one. This one looks simpler to me. I wonder what the white is. Uh, it says tie six pieces of white string from a 14 inch foam. Oh, across a 14 inch foam wreath. Foam wreath form. Say that three times fast, you guys. Making sure to loop each one at the midway point of the first piece attached to create a central point. Really cool. I love this. With the spiders. I don't know where they got these spiders, but those look real. Oh my gosh, look at this ghost. Look at this puffy, adorable. I'm going to bring it closer for you guys. Look at this ghost. What is he made out of? And I like the door hanger too that says cemetery. That's pretty cool. Very well done. It says sketch lower portion of ghost body onto white foam core. About two to three feet tall. That's big. Cut out with utility knife. On back of foam core, position two skewers. Uh, those are going to be the arms. Duct tape them in place. Duct tape a loop, loop of monofilament on top for the hanging. And then the head is a four inch foam ball. So it's foam. It's foam and it's hot glue and it's skewers. It's pretty cool. I bet you can probably make something like that out of anything. Oh, cute. Sweetly retro. They took vintage candy and turned it into a wreath. You know what would happen though on Halloween night? Someone's going to steal your wreath. Like someone's just going to think that that's the candy that you're giving away. And they're going to take the whole thing right off your door. <laughs> that's what I would be afraid of. Look how cute a little monster pom-pom face. A googly-eyed goon. Make or buy yarn pom-poms in a few sizes and shades of green for DIY pom-poms, blah, blah, blah. I just wanted to see. Start with the largest ones. Once the wreath form is completely covered, then attach the large googly eyes. These are the big googly eyes, the ones that are like that large. How cool is that? Ew, look. Spider eggs. 
Okay, that kind of grosses me out because that is kind of what spider eggs look like, depending on the spider. Not that big though, obviously. So attach spray painted plastic spiders and styrofoam balls to a twig wreath form and then cover it with the gauzy spiderweb material. This, I bet you can make that in like an hour. This is very visually effective, pretty gross, and pretty cool. I like this one. Take a simple feather wreath to the dark side by attaching a black artificial bird and sprinkling it with glitter. So simple. So simple, but very effective. Especially if you're having like more of like a dark, mysterious, like serious party, like Halloween party, like for adults. That would be cool. And this is just a candy, co uh, candy corn uh, foam triangle that they painted. And then they put flowers in it and a little spider. More wreaths. I like this. I like the pine cones. It's simple, but you can have it for the whole entire season, not just Halloween. And I like stuff like that. Or this one, this is like little miniature pumpkins. Um, little fake pumpkins that they spray painted um looks like just gold that's so simple but then you can have it up all year long this one's creepy it says source colorful vintage paper halloween masks from websites like etsy and ebay and attached to a 18 inch craft ring with hot glue overlapping them as you go that's creepy i don't know if i like this one this guy's face Right here, he's pretty scary. The fright stuff. What lurks beneath these Halloween decorations? The fact that they're quick and easy to make. Get ready to scare up every nook and cranny of your home. This looks like actual candy corn stuck inside of something. Turns out decorating with this beloved fall candy is just as fun as eating it. Raise your hand if you like candy corn in the comments. Just, my son loves it. It's so weird. I can't stand it. It's like, it's like wax with sugar in it. Like, it's literally wax. That being said, every year I manage to put a few pieces in my mouth. No matter how much I say I hate it. I'm trying not to do that this year though. It says to make these sweet designs, hot glue pieces of candy corn onto styrofoam spheres. That's it. If they just took candy corn and they glued it into a styrofoam ball. That's it. Skull lamp. What? It says spray paint a round table lamp. If you just have it sitting around. Then you cut out the facial features with white adhesive felt. Okay. And then you make the hat. I don't have like a lamp just laying around that I wouldn't mind spray painting black and turning it into this but it looks really cool when you're done that's cute that's really cute you take a white sheet you cut out i might do this <laughs> take a white sheet cut out a ghost's face lay the sheet over the chair and then attach the eyes nose and mouth or whatever no nose eyes and mouth that's so cute and easy and you wouldn't have to do it to like every chair just do it to the chair that's like the most visual when people go into your dining room area my dining room area is right next to my front door so that would actually be a really cool idea that's cute fanged foliage i'm gonna pick this up because this is really small can you guys see that they have faces on the leaves fanged foliage they turned the leaves like into bats that's pretty cute i don't know if i messed up my focus hopefully i didn't there we go airy orbs this is cute this is like it looks like candlesticks i don't know what the orbs are though let's see it says print or color images of bugs and eyeballs blah 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 and then they put it in a snappable pl um plastic ornament so this is like a Christmas ornament. I think they sell them at uh, Dollar Tree too. Like the, you can eat, the whole thing either pops in half or the, like the top unscrews and you can put stuff inside of it. 
That's all they did here. Smart, easy. Cute. Hocus Pocus, give a few shelves or an entire room a hexing makeover. Look at these little jars. It says claw of raven, eye of newt, hair of dog, <laughs> frog toads, and bat wing. This says spells, brews, enchantments, potions, and poisons. That's cute. It says cover cardboard books available at craft stores. Oh, kind of like the one I got at um, Dollar Tree. And decorate the spines with permanent marker and washi tape. That is pretty easy. This is pretty easy too. Or have your kid draw you a spooky picture and then replace one of your pictures that are in your already existing picture frames just like temporarily. How cute. Ghostly macrame. I thought this was like a cut up mop. <laughs> you know like the old school mops? I thought this was a mop. It's really cute. It says paint embroidery hoops black. Cut equal lengths of macrame cord. Do a lark's head knot or a square knot and finish each ghost by cutting out some eyes and a mouth. Uh, spooky sticks. Gather branches from your yard and lay them out on a plastic. Spray paint them neon green. All right. Like witch fingers. That doesn't look like witch fingers to me. It just looks like plants in a vase. That's cool, though. Really pretty. It says, give your decor a ghoulish touch with a collection of blood red candlesticks. Dip red hot glue onto the holder to create a chilling effect. Oh. So they just took black candlestick holders. They purchased the black candles. But then... They took um, red hot glue, because you can buy hot glue in different colors. Please hold it, because I don't know what that sound is. I apologize if you hear background sound. I'm going to keep going. However, we had a huge storm here yesterday. Huge. And somebody's like whole tree toppled over. And I think they're currently cutting it into smaller pieces but I'm going to keep on going for a couple more pages. I apologize for the background noise. I can't do anything about it. Okay, on this page, they have some petrifying porches. That is creepy. That looks like a young Judge Judy with a witch hat on. <laughs> it says, if you've got it, haunt it. Whether vintage paintings or family photographs, Put portraits in a Halloween spirit by topping them with a black cardstock witch hat. Stick on googly eyes are also a hair raising addition. That's funny. Spine chilling luminaries. Ooh, that's cool. And this is cool too. This is like vintage doilies. I don't know if you guys know what a doily is, but that's this lace thing. I've never seen them in black though. That's cool. Webbed gallery. Spiders and lace transform a blank wall into a spooky backdrop. Frame cotton doilies and attach plastic spiders with hot glue for graphic decor. Really cool. I don't know if I'd go that far, but it's pretty cool. Ooh, we're on chapter two. Spell casting cutie. It says pumpkin patch. Whether you prefer yours carved or painted, scary or silly, We've got the perfect pumpkin pick for you. What are you guys? Are you, gonna, are you guys the kind of people that uh, do scary or silly? Are you the kind of person that does carved or painted? I personally like painted just because it lasts longer. If I get a pumpkin in October, in the beginning of October, or even like the end of September, it can last all the way until I'm ready to do... Um, Christmas decorating. Okay, cut above. I'm sorry that I keep on having to pause. I hope that you can't tell. Um, the people outside, they're trying to clean up. There's, um, there's a lot of damage from the storm. We live in Southern California, so not used to stuff like this. Um, so I'm sorry I keep on 
having to start and stop this video, and I hope that it's not bothering the flow. It says, take your same old, same old jack lantern up a notch with these carved creations. Look at this. They put a bird inside the pumpkin and made the pumpkin look like a cage. They even put, I don't know if you guys can see that, there's a key in it. Can you see that? Pretty cool. This one says nuts and bolts. That's cute. So this one's like a little more creepy and this one's like kind of cute. They took, uh, looks like actual nuts and bolts. They made eyeballs out of it, a nose. How cute. They even put like handles for ears. That's pretty cute. This one says sucker for fun. So that's just suckers as like hair kind of. It looks like a little afro almost. That's really cute. Look at that. Zip it. Hollow out a medium round pumpkin from the bottom and carve out oval eyes. Cut two smaller circles from leftover rind for pupils. What the? I want to see if it says, okay, for eyebrows. Mm, for mouth, unzip a zipper a little more than halfway and use black push pins or silver straight pins to stick it in. I was one. that's what I was looking for. I was wondering how they made it look like that. That's pretty cool. Bite back. That's freaking toothpicks. Holy moly. That's so smart. I don't know if that's smart if you're going to put a candle inside. As that doesn't seem fire safe. But if you're not going to, that's pretty cool. Love it. Love it. Look at the owl family. It's like a daddy owl. A mommy owl and then two little babies. I wonder what they use for feet because they gave them feet. Um, Brazil nuts. They painted almonds and Brazil nuts orange and then attached them with glue for feet. How cute is that? That's great. That's awesome. Hear no evil. That's really cool. And this one says warts and all. So those bumpy, like, ugly pumpkins that no one wants and all the gourds. They attach some, like, eyeballs. These look like foam, I'm guessing. Yeah, styrofoam balls. How cute is that? This, they gave this little tiny one legs. That's just an aloe plant and they put eyeballs in it. So then the, the aloe looks like hair. Really cute. And then this one. It's hard to see. There you go. Wooly werewolf. It says cut in uh, cut a mouth into a butternut squash. Gently open and remove the insides and save the dried seeds. Carve eyes. Paint the stem black for a nose. Weird. It's really weird. I think the hands are also made out of gourd. That one's kind of creepy to me. Aw, spacey monsters. I love this one with his like wiggly mouth and then they attached eyeballs to the stem. You'd have to find a pumpkin that has like a really long stem to do that. This one's cute, sweet tooth. It's more like a day of the dead skeleton. Marshmallows, candy corn. How smart is that? Hungry Jack. What's in its mouth? Mmm let's say oh I think it's another squash this is cute that's cute and not scary that would be really cute for like a centerpiece for a kids party really cute I don't know if I put the blood on the teeth though if it's for little kids <laughs> country cuties from trucks to mason jars this crop of designs is overflowing with farm fresh bun so this is more like um fall, I think, than like actual like Halloween, but still really cute. This is adorable. Isn't there a kid's book called Blue Truck or Little Blue Truck? I have a couple of those. This would be cute if you're having a themed party, like a farm themed party. Really cute. Look at this. That's cool. Barco poultry dairy and livestock feed. <laughs> oh 
Oh my gosh. Holy moly. That is a pumpkin. And they made it look like a mason jar. These are pumpkins that they made look like candy apples. That is a pumpkin, but they made it look like some sort of sweet treat. The middle of these ribbons are miniature pumpkins. If I squish this down, these snow cones right here on top, those are colored like painted pumpkins. <gasps> Holy crap, that's so smart. Look at all these different kinds of pumpkins. Did you know all the kinds of pumpkins? Because I didn't know they all had names. <laughs> Munchkins. Treats. The smallest of the batch. Super hearty. Good for tabletop displays and vignettes. vignettes. Not really like for eating, I guess. This like grayish color, bluish colored one is called a Jara... Jaradale. Guys, I could definitely be saying that wrong. Its traits are that they are blue-green, flatter shape. They're good for stacking and for wide patterns. The Howden or Hoden traits, medium size, more oblong than round, so they're like tall. Good for projects that require height or width. And decoupaging, oh, that's smart. Lumina, my kids always get white pumpkins lately. I think we've had white pumpkins like three years in a row we've had white pumpkins i like them too even when my kids get the orange pumpkins i'll get one for me and i'll get a white one. Oh, we be little traits smooth skin round shape good for intricate or detailed carving i thought that these ones were called um pumpkin pie pumpkins because they taste good for pumpkin pie i do not know if that's true though all right you guys I'm going to stop on this page called Get Crafty. Look, look at the yarn. We'll read all about it next time. We have a lot more magazine to get through, as you can see. Several more chapters, as as uh, that's kind of what they put in here. They did it by chapters. So um, I'm going to save the second half of this for a different video. Of course, now that I'm ending the video, my neighbor has stopped but um, if you want to see more from me, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I notice every single subscriber. I appreciate every one of you helping my tiny little channel to grow one person at a time.